Hi guys, it's an American Girl Mom here, and I'm bringing you the February 2021 Dollhouse Tour update. I brought you one last month, but it wasn't filmed very well, and there was a lot of rooms in the dollhouse that weren't quite done. As you can see, I still have not gotten anything done here at the front door. It is still decorated for Halloween. Next, we have the twins room. I did get a lot done in here. Um, I haven't got the walls painted or the ceiling painted or anything yet. Um, but I did get the twins' bed ready. All of their clothes are here. Um, I got this cute little wardrobe from on clearance from Goodwill, I think. And it takes up a lot of space, but I like the way it displays their clothes. Then down here we have Rowan's room. She's very much into sparkly, silvery things, so there's a lot of that in her room. And below that, we have Octavia, Octavia and Meadow's room. Um, down below that, we have Octavia and Meadow's room. It's kind of, kind of basic in there. I don't have a lot of wall decorations. But you can see all of Octavia's science stuff is down there. Then we have Leah's hut. Um, I only have some of the furniture that came with it, but it has a fold-out bed. And as you can see on the side, I finally got time to put up the two hammocks. They were super easy. I used some hem tape. I think I included on my blog about how I went about making them. Okay, up here we have the arcade. This is part of the Our Generation Clubhouse. Um, I love this piece. It's a very big piece. Uh, as you can see, I fit a lot of things. Up. That's the upstairs portion of it. And then down here, we have James's room. And it also has a lot of, fits a lot of items in there. Next up on the tour is, um, this is Gretchen and Earl's apartment. I'm planning on putting a front door over here in the corner, and of course it needs some lighting. Um, but we, I've got it kind of more or less done. And below that, we have the little area where I keep all of my food trucks. Usually the hot dog cart is pulled out further. It's not usually tucked in. Over here we have Earl's Diner. Um, right now... It's in serious need of a makeover, but I haven't gotten that far yet. But you can see the counters are kind of messy. There's a lot of food out. This is Maylin and Jin's room. I haven't put a whole lot of things in here just yet, but I just got this one set up today. Next is the laundry room. This is one of the smallest rooms in the dollhouse. Down below that, we have the farm. I don't have a whole lot of lighting down here yet. As you can see, I have not gotten to the lake yet. Um, I'm going to pour a resin lake soon. Uh, I just haven't gotten that far. And there's actually another horse tucked back there that's kind of hard to see. This is Ember and Shinobu's room. The bathroom. This is the craft room. Right now it is really empty in here. I have plans to add more things later. This is River and Adeline's room. You can see that they're very into nature. Adeline is very into bees. This is the kitchen slash dining room. As you can see, the new flooring is in. I'm very excited about it. This is glass tile flooring. Down below that, we have Camp Run Amok. You can see that I finally have Lainey's camper in here, and I've got the door open. Last time I wasn't able to get the door open. 
had moved some things around and I put a luggage rack on top of the our generation camper to give it more storage area. This is the living room. And I love all the little details that I've added along the walls, all the different pictures and things. I think they really give it a home feel. This is the Disney room. This is Altani's room. You can see that she is very much into horses and boys. Next up we have Julie's room. Julie actually has the biggest bedroom because she's the only one that has her own private bathroom. Down here we have the beach. I have the Art Generation Beach House, which I highly recommend. It is an amazing little beach house that I plan on doing more with in the future. The swimming pool and the lemonade stand back there. Up top here we have what I can only call a mess. I have big plans to change this um, little chalet. I'm going to make it a little place for Santa Claus. So I'm going to put up a wall between that and the Our Generation Vet Clinic, which I sometimes use as a clinic. I also use it a lot when I do Star Adventures, my comic. So it's up here. I spent a lot of time today working on the bakery slash coffee shop, um, only to find that I really wanted these particular light fixtures. They're Christmas ornaments, but I have two of them. And because they're Christmas ornaments, there wasn't a lot of ways of attaching them. So they are actually being held up by liquid nail. And that's why I have these two doll holders holding them up in place until they dry. So this room is kind of a mess and kind of getting done all at the same time. This is the bridge for Star Adventures, my comic that I do. I encourage you to go check it out at anamericangirlmom.com. I use a lot of just recycled things to kind of get shapes that I want. So you'll be seeing the next episode coming up soon in March. Down here is the classroom. The Our Generation classroom actually takes up a lot of space, but I think it's super cute. I love that it has an outside area. And I love that I'm able to actually display it because there's a little place for backpacks and things and I feel like it's very hard to get to that if you have a small space. Welcome to one of the newest additions of the dollhouse. This is the candy shop. I've been wanting to do a candy shop for a while. I just didn't have a lot of room for one. But it turns out candy shops really don't need a whole lot of room. Next we have Grace's Star Wars room. This is Marie Grace and Ayla's room. It's the snowflake room, so it has a little theme going. Next we have the skate park. I really have not started on this room, but I am super excited because I finally found tile that I think looks like concrete. Next to the skate park, we have a little park back here with a park bench. And then Blair's Restaurant, which takes up a lot of space, but I think I finally found an area in the dollhouse that fits it. So guys, that's it for me today. This is an overview of the dollhouse. And I got a lot done in here today, but there is always work to be done in the dollhouse. It is never a finished product. Thanks for watching.